Hello everybody, this is Xenokinetic2543, welcome you back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. And in this part, we're, we just faced off against Gato last time, we made it finally to the main shrine. Starting this sequence will make Mekana's Field permanently inaccessible from this point forward. Egil. Why do you go so far to destroy the Bionis? And I would highly suggest survived that battle. Taking care of. We should have created a new world in which we could live in peace, and we still can. Central factory and near the stuff. The rage of those who are annihilated well. by the Monado will never dissipate. Think not about avenging the dead. Think of the living. Please, Egil. I, I don't want to lose you. Are you so resigned to giving your life for this? Life or death, I care for neither of these. The agonized cries of our brethren resound within my ears. Until they are silenced, I am deaf to all else. Egil. So, you have finally arrived, heir to the Monado. You are Egil, leader of Makonis. That I am. Of course. You have never seen me outside my face, Yalda Balf. But even if I am without it, you will never defeat me. Wait. I didn't come to fight you. Cowardice? Then relinquish the Monado and kneel before me. I didn't come to surrender to you either. I just want to know something. You have my undivided attention. Ask your question. I've seen the legends of the Machina right here in the capital. I think I understand why you want to fight the Bionis. But why send the Mechon to attack the people of Bionis? <laughs> I don't see the joke. We share the same world. The Homs, Nopon, and High Entia live in harmony. So why not the Machina too? Tell me, boy, are you familiar with the concept of starvation tactics? Of course. A military strategy in which you cut the supply lines and starve out the enemy. So, then you understand that that is the best method by which to ensure victory. I have no resentment or hatred for the peoples of Bionis. I am simply depleting the Bionis energy. Striking back at the titan that robbed my people of their lives. I don't understand. Perhaps you need me to put things more simply. All life on Bionis exists purely to feed its master. What? Ether. The base element of all things that exist in this world. My body, your bodies. You are aware that Ether is the foundation of them all. Yes. Ether is power. You are the source of that power. All life that is born from the Bionis dies and is returned to the Bionis. Unlike the Mechonis, the Bionis feeds on ether provided by those who return to it. Upon the moment of its eventual awakening, it will require an incredible number of lives. But that means... What are you talking about? Are you saying we're just food? It was the Bionis that created you for such a purpose, not I. So you attack Bionis to reduce the Bionis power supply? Correct. You are nothing more than bugs to be devoured by my sworn adversary. Do not speak to me of your foolish dreams of unity. Foolish? We only grieve for those we've lost, as you do. Machina or Homs, we've suffered the same. Don't tell me it's different. Indeed. We have both suffered. So then. You doubt my convictions, my reasons. In order to avenge my people, I have risked everything. Can you say the same? Yes, we can. To get this far, we fought long and hard. And yet, you do not fight me. 
Your words are useless. It is only strength that can prevail. Shulk, this whole thing stinks, but he's got a point. Agreed. Agil, leader of Makonis. The lives of the Machina and the lives of all that lives on Bionis are one and the same. We won't stop. Not until you realize that. Well, I guess it's boss time. Oh good, Raging Star Wars. I know what that means. That means someone learned a skill. Someone who's not in the party at the moment, but... Uh... We can definitely stand your power. Yeah, down goes the sidekick. Down we go. Vision? What you gonna do that's actually scary? Oh, homing missiles. That's a lot of damage! Why you you stopped? He just stopped. He decided not to do it. I'm glad he's decided not to do it because that would've been real bad. Uh, you're almost dead. But let's do this. Uh, Charla. Okay. That's fine. Now you. Okay. My turn. Let's do it. Final cross. I'm never gonna give up. That's a way to kill Lego. Using our new art. Final cross. Didn't get to topple him, but. Uh, how could this happen, even with the apocrypha? Because we didn't use Shulk. No, Egea. You know the reason. <laughs> the power of the will to protect your own. Is that what you refer to? And what of you, Venea? You would side with those of Bionis and attack me. You have forfeited your right to exist. Perhaps. If that is to be my fate, I gladly accept, brother. As would any of the villagers. So the few remaining members of my people have now betrayed me. Interesting. You're wrong! The villagers and I, we just wanted all this fighting to stop. Egil, all we wanted was to live with you in peace. Nothing more than that. Nonsense. There will never be peace until the Bionis is destroyed. Brother! <laughs> Your blade. Oh. It did not come deep enough. The golden Mekon. Permit me to apologize for calling you bugs just now. You proved to be a worthy adversary after all. Shulk. Hey, it's the Elder Bell. We're on level for this. Rude. Don't you dare give up. Thanks. I'm all right now. I'm not doing too well. He's art sealed me, so I can't really do anything. But we're dodging. Also, as soon as I get an art sealed. There's all your damage undone. I love this theme, by the way. That's okay. This is a scripted fight. 
<laughs> it's not a real fight. <sighs> Prepare to die. Show No. Zanja. Zanja. Uh. I won't let you kill Shulk! You... That luck... So you have returned. Our grievances have come and gone. But you are willing to lay down your life to prevent me from achieving my dream. You were the one who said we would live together. Lady Mayneth. Yes. Maynard, the villagers, everyone loved you. That is why they wished to live alongside you. It's all so clear now. To Maynard and to me. I waited until the day when you would awaken once more and create a world full of light. But you are nothing more than a traitor. To me, to all those who worshipped you, and to our fallen brethren. Please, you have to listen to me. Egil! I will not listen. Your words mean nothing. You have sided with my sworn enemy. And gods can never exist alongside mortals. Maynard! Well, that doesn't look good for... That doesn't look good. And he just, like, melts through the Mana Shrine. Maconis, it is I, Egil. I, your devoted servant. Offer my body and mind to replace Mana as your new soul. Take my spirit. And we reawaken. Maconis! Again. Have we heard this music since Gado! leaving Colony 9? Where are you? Shala, what I mean, are you doing? It's fitting, but. He's gone. He's not here anymore. There's no time. We have to get ourselves out. No! I have to find him! Gado! Pull yourself together. Remember, Shala, we've got a job to do. What's gonna happen if the McConnish starts moving? What's gonna happen to Juju and Atharon? Gado's a home soldier. He wouldn't have hung around here to die. He would have got out. All right. Right. Now come on! Yeah, the city just got destroyed.
Well. That's the end of the chapter. Well, last time we heard that was, I think, end of chapter two. That music. It's been a while. Gosh. I need to get into a menu so I can change a skill branch around, because... That achievement that we got means that someone finished a skill branch and I need to move him over. Oh well. We got more cutscenes. I'm not gonna cut it off now at 15 minutes. Like, let's get the rest of the scene. So that was chapter 14. This is 15, I think. I believe. That we're starting right now. A sign? Yes. If a catastrophe were imminent, it would naturally be preceded by a sign. It can't be. Convey these orders to all troops. Pull the front line back to the Bionis arm. All units, withdraw from the front at once! Sir, are you sure? Victory is in our hands, Your Highness. We must strike the final blow. Do you not realize where we are? Sir? Listen to me. We are on the sword of the Mekonis. <laughs> Calm down! Calm down! Oh. It's moving! Oh. Are we too late? Melia, be safe. All units retreat! Immediately! The Mekonis is about to awaken! Damn it! I was counting on you, runt. We're okay. What's happening? It's like we're floating in midair. Fiora, are you doing this? Lady Manus. Oh, good. We saved Benea too. This light. Was it you who saved us when we fell from the fortress? Maynath. Where's Fiora? It's okay. I'm here too. After all that occurred at the fortress, my soul was exhausted. But I was revived by the cry of a young Holmes. By his wish to protect you all. Gado. If he had not acted as a shield, I would have been unable to save you. I am sorry. Gado saved us. Now he's... Huh? The Mechonis! Where's Egil? Yeah, like, uh, the fact that we're all free falling now. Oh, by the way! Not like- Where are we? <laughs> that was a close one! 
But we made it! <laughs> Alvis, you are aboard Junks, the Machina ship. It was he who informed us that you were in danger. I'm glad we found you in time. Thank you. Yeah, Junks flies. Hey! What a stroke of luck! You're still alive! Dixon! Yep. Why not? <sighs> so you were unable to stop Egil. <sighs> Sorry, Father. I have failed you. Vanaya, there's no need to apologize. So, what do we do now? At this rate, that blasted Eggle's gonna destroy Bionis. Alvis, what happened to the Allied force? I informed His Highness of the possibility that the Maconis would awaken. His Highness is wise. He will have acted to minimize casualties. That's good. Brother. There is still time. Fiora? No, you're... So it is her. The Mekonis and I exist as one. Egil is using ether energy absorbed from the Bionis to force it to move. There is still time before the Mekonis fully adapts to the ether. Egil is at the core of the Mekonis. He will be controlling the Mekonis from there. Only by destroying the core will you be able to stop the Mekonis. But how are we to get there? The Mekonis capital is destroyed. Father, how much remaining energy does Junks have? Don't worry. I made sure to fill her up. <laughs> On the back of the Mekonis is a huge cooling duct. We should be small enough to enter the control core section via the duct's heat transfer conduits. Junks can take us as far as the duct. You have our gratitude. We must go there at once. Then let's get a move on. This one's for Gado. Here, here. Too right. Gado's wishes live on through me. We will fight to the end. Sure, but I'd like to do some hard hearts first, I think. Before we get into huge, big plot stuff. There's some side business I want to take care of. Time to finish this. Hmm. Interesting. Oh my gosh, more seals. When you are ready to depart for the Mekonis, let my father know. I will prepare the vessel. You're not ready. Understood. Oi! Look at that! What the? Yeah, the Macarthur is moving now. There is little time left. We must stop Egil this time. It is in your hand, Shulk. I know. Now I could do a whole bunch of side quests right now, if I wanted to. I mean, there's not that many, but I could do a few side quests. Mostly Colony 6, additional Colony 6 reconstruction and, like, uh, some side quests with people that you can invite. But, I have business over here, actually. We got an Affinity Chart update. So what was that all about? Well, one person has moved. Plaza Trox's personality is different. She's survived despite the odds. And she's now on the fallen arm. Yay, we saved her. That only happens if you complete best boots, otherwise she dies. It's bad. Also, Ryan finished his diligence and now he can work on spirit. 
you need to finish that so that I can get you stuck on Serenity. I'm just going to let Ricky finish this one. Just finish all of them. For this one, and then Vivacity, and then Flexibility, I don't really care. There's not much, that much available at this point. Jarek? <laughs> That's their way of connecting the the Mechonis area to Upper Bionis. It's kind of silly. But it works, I suppose. It's fine. Whatever. Gosh. Anyway. Let's see if anybody can go on it. We've got a heart to heart here, don't we? I'll do that one now. Let's do that one. I'm not gonna need heart, we need heart to hearts. Yeah, we got. Oh, you two. Duh. Something's really bothering you. You never used to hide stuff from me back at the colony. I know I didn't, but that was a long time ago, Shulk. And if I tell you, I know you'll get angry. Maybe, maybe not. But you'll have to ask to find out. So, what's it to be? I'm sorry, I can't. It's alright, Fiora. If it's too difficult, you don't have to worry. I want to tell you. But I think you might get mad. Promise me you won't get angry. Promise me, Shulk. Okay, okay. I promise. Whatever you tell me, I won't get mad at you. So, the thing is, you know I have a Mac in a body. And I was wondering about us. We won't be able to grow old together like old people do. I hadn't thought of that, but so what? That's why I wanted to tell you. You need to find someone you can grow old with. What? I don't care about that. You know I don't care, right? But listen to me, Shulk. You've been good to me, and I have feelings for you, but... It's getting complicated, and... Fiora, it's all going to be okay. I'll look after you for as long as we're both alive. No matter what happens to us. My feelings for you won't change. Do you really mean that? That I won't keep going on. I'm sorry I said those things. Knowing that you'll stay with me for as long as possible, it makes me very glad. 
I know it won't be easy. It's a rocky road ahead. But as long as we're honest with each other, I know we'll be fine. I won't forget that. Thank you, Shilk. Ah, time for the other routes. Lots of reading. special you want to do. Yeah, I want to come back here and hang out with you. It'll be great. Will you come with me? I'd love to. It would be really nice to come here again. Oh, it'll be wonderful, Shulk. We'll see this beautiful shore again and just dive right in. I've thought about it too. We can all come here together as soon as we're finished fighting. too much to share. <laughs> I cannot believe it. You still don't get a thing. I'll spell it out for you. You know how you traveled by honors without me when I was gone? I thought we could sneak away together, like when we were kids. Do some traveling on our own. When you put it like that, I can't wait. I wish we could go sooner. But we'll always be together, so there's plenty of time. Yeah, that's true. We'll have loads of time to spend together. So, let's make the most of it. <laughs> Don't worry, we will. I'm going to drag you to so many places you'll get sick of it. <laughs> Is that a promise? It sounds like a lot of fun. Okay. got through most of the reading. I know for a fact that I've got three hard arcs left to view before I even move on to the next section of the plot, and once I start the next section of the plot, we're not stopping. It's gonna be go, go, go. So, that's why I'm taking care of this now. Let's get Shulk and Fiora a little bit more affinity. 
as much as we need as we can for them, honestly. As much as we need for everyone as we can, so I have to get option of any. So once I'm up to max, I can actually customize my party based on what I want to be using rather than what I've been doing, which has been just whoever needs to be using the party. Here I go. Just don't get mad, please. We talked about this before, but if my body doesn't last... Fiora, stop right there. You said you wouldn't worry. That's why I told you not to get mad. I know this isn't the first time subjects come up, but how do you know I'll ever be like I was before all this? I don't care about any of that. None of it ma matters as long as I get to be with you. You'll always be my Fiora. What about everyone else? You're fine with it, but other Homs? I know that what they'll think of me. I don't want them to tar you with the same brush. Then we'll move to somewhere they can't look at you. Ryan and Dumb Ben will follow us. I know they would. Sure. Thank you. Hearing you say that makes me happy inside. But I can't drag everyone away from their own lives. Maybe not. But I'll be there with you either way. Really? You beat everyone else? For me? You're not just saying that to make me feel better? No. I promise I'll never leave you. So you have to promise me that you'll never forget. It's not really dog's accent. That's gonna do it for this part. We're gonna end up with this music next time. We're gonna do a heart to heart marathon. Because I've got a lot of heart to hearts to do. See you then. <laughs>